Hey, welcome back. This is uh, a channel with regard the Lura Radio RS485 Modbus Long Range Communication. So this is for a project where we can't get a two core screen cable, normally a Belden, from the controller, which is a Mac 36 controller, this controller here on this IP address 192.168.1.123. We can't get uh, a wire from that to the location of this unit here, which is on the first floor of the house and it's roughly around about 30 40 meters away going through two solid brick walls the house is about 1930 so it was brick walls with insulation and on the first floor and i am on the ground floor uh, in a log cabin with uh, 150 millimeter thick wooden walls uh, the controller is, um, sorry, the, re the receiver is mounted in the cabin and these two wires here, this green and white wire on the A and B, A being positive, green, uh, B being negative, is going back to the Mac 36 controller and we're actually reading the points uh, on this DDM18 SD meter which is this meter here on the first floor. So I just took a snapshot, just been up to the first floor and took a snapshot and the meter reading was 1555.6 and as you can see the total active power here is 1555.6. It's communicating, This is these boxes here is just setting it all up and uh, they're not required but uh, I put them in. If we look at the Modbus codes for this particular meter, they're here, 3001 um, for the read registers, and then 4000 for the setup of the system, the board rate, the parity, the address. Not really interested in these figures, but uh, they're there anyway and as you can see there but it's gone into fault there but it will clear itself on the next pole but i'm not interested in them figures i'm, I'm interested in the total active power uh, more than anything else i'm not even interested in the current or the voltage or the active watts but that's the figure that i'm interested in and we couldn't get a cable from the first floor of that building so it was better to use these uh, LoRa radios. Uh, it's, it can be in three modes. It can be LoRa radio, PMAC, or uh, LoRa one. But we're using LoRa radio for this one. You can see the LoRa radio here. So this was a snapshot uh, before I started this video. So I'm just gonna move that out of the way. This is the installation, it's a four-way plastic enclosure, MCB, 16 amp MCB there. Uh, it's a single phase electric meter and the RS485 is going to the transmitter, which is a lower transmitter here. The uh, receiver, like I said, is here, which we've got live video on there and I'm gonna just go through some functions while we're watching the live video let me make that a little bit bigger and then i'll go over to the meter which is meter the um, lower device which is right at the side of me and we'll go through these uh, these functions of this device So I've held that for about two seconds. We've got the main menus, we've got Modbus set up. I'm just gonna carry on pressing the function. UART, System, LoRa Radio, PPTM, Data Rate, Frequency, Relay Set, not used, Contactor Set, not used. 
reset factory yes we use that and reboot yes we use that about and not use but let's just press the about ref b 1.5.1 march the 2nd 2022 press function again so we can see this 9600 board rate there's eight bits even parity and one stop bit the frequency is 433.100 sf9 i'll show i'll come to that in a minute and when you've got the signal and the rsei value press that for two seconds so modbus setup i'll quickly look at that so that's set up as a Modbus address 5. I'm just going to, you don't need to set this up if you don't want to as a Modbus address. But say you've got some even uh, meters and then you've got some non-parity meters. You may need two of these. Uh, one for the Modbus and, and then you might need to set the Modbus address up. Uh, but that, that, that goes from 0 to 32. So let's just press that. And let's just change that to zero. Wants me to restart the system, so let's just do that. Okay. So the signal's still there. Six, jumping around a bit. Six point two, eight. So let's go to the next one. New art. So we want 9,600 board rate, but we can go through with the enter key and select uh, other board rates. And we want even parity. We can go through none odd, but we want even. Now it's asking me to restart the system. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to go cancel because I've not changed anything. Press that for two seconds. And then go now to system. Press enter. So now I'm on LoRa Radio, but I can select LoRa PMAC, LoRa 1. I'm going to leave it on LoRa Radio. LoRa Radio. Just give me some information there. TX Power, 12 dBm. PPTM. Pole Idle. So you can change all this lot. So that's under that zero there. That's under that zero there. That's under the nine zero zero interval minimum. Five seconds. I'm going to leave it at five seconds. Interval maximum 30. Leave that at 30. I don't want to do anything with that. Data rate. Low speed SF9. Mid speed SF8, high speed SF7. I'm going to leave it at low speed. Frequency. So now I can change the frequency. Again, it's under the zero at the moment. Let's just change it for you to see the one there. I'm going to put it back to zero. Go through all these. Don't want to change that. Relay set, ignore that. That's well, we, we look at it, but it's power up or uh, up state. I can change that state of power, but this is not got it's got a relay in it, but it's not going to any co uh, any contacts on the system. So let's just change that to power up state off contact to set exactly the same. It's got facility for it, but nothing's on there. So normally closed or normally open. Reset factory, exactly what that will do. Reset it to factory settings. And reboot, we'll reboot the system. Let's press reboot. Okay. So that's rebooted. Now, if you look right at the top of the lower radio, you'll see the off there. If it had the relay connected to the terminals, but we're not using it, so it's really pointless me telling you about it, but see it's gone on there off there you can hear it click as well 
so it doesn't mean Laura Radio is off so don't just because it says off there don't think that oh my Laura Radio is off it isn't what you must make sure between the receiver and the transmitter is you've got the same board rate same bits same parity and the same stop bit that's important and also that you're on the same frequency so SF9 both of them on SF9 and also 433.100 megahertz so 433 megahertz that's important once you've got both them exactly the same then there's no issue at all um, I've basically gone through all that lot let me go back to the computer so this is the mod bus that I'm bringing in if, if I show you the property sheet let's just take that now out of the way that camera so you can see that the com 2 is set up at 9608 one and even um, some meters are also none so that may need to be changed sometimes from even to none uh, but they're normally 9600 factory uh, very very rare would you get 192 factory set you would norm they normally be 96 81 and this is the, this is your your catch it's sometimes it can be even some can they can they can be none so you need to double check that if your LoRa system doesn't work uh, and bring the meter data in then it may be worth changing the non to even or the even to non depending on what your settings are but the board rate would normally be the same and these are the click yes to that these are the live values coming from the first floor that's feeding the loft. So the current reactive power. Here we go, that's just changed that 5.2 watts. There's hardly anything being drawn on that system. 4.9 there. But it's a steady 0.11 amps. Um, there's nothing really changing. That, that, that would take ages before that actually goes up 0.1. On this on this current draw um, I think that's it there's nothing else this meter that we're connected to is a DDM 18 SD and you can see the meter here this meter here and if you go to BMS parts there's a data sheet there let me just pause this and see if I can get that for you this is BMS parts uh, .co.uk so we'll go on to the online shop and we're going to go to this meter so I'll just go to this single one here I'll just scroll down for the data sheet that's it there let's open up that one let me just take that out of the way completely so this is the data sheet giving you all the menu items connections setting up lower PMAC mode connections to the Mac 36 controller which is the connections I've got here these connections here to COM2 uh, the communication to the, um, the loft uh, metering giving you some more information there But I did this data sheet. What was we on power wise? Probably near enough the same. Yeah, 0.6. Um, there is something to note with this the, the installation. See this antenna? It's got, it's a, 
we normally stick to a metal cabinet or metal base, but this is uh, on a wooden strut, so there's no like ground plane, and it's still communicating uh, that distance. So that's a good distance considering it's in a cupboard, a double brick wall, not a normal brick wall, not a plasterboard, double brick wall, then another double brick wall to the outside with insulation, then I would say 25, 30 meters to a log cabin with 150 millimeter thick wood and it's going through there. Now they say that these will go uh, eight kilometers. I can't see that happening unless it was both antennas were really high out of the way of houses. I mean, in the real world, um, even if it went one kilometer, two kilometer, I'd be happy. At the moment, I've only gone 40, 50, 60 meters at maximum. Uh, which is nothing but it does save the asshole of uh, not running a cable well you couldn't run a cable you'd have to dig up all the yard it, it would just be crazy and it would be so expensive just to run a cable to pick up a meter uh, data value so uh, it, it's a no-brainer using these devices so naturally you need two to pick up the meter but that meter uh, you, you can pick up not just one meter you could pick up 20 meters 30 meters they all have a different addresses this particular address is address seven so if i show you that uh, views wire sheet uh, i don't want wire sheet I don't want that there device address seven so that's picking up but i could have one to 30 here uh, in addresses and I can send all that th all them 30 meters via LoRa WAN radio back to my BMS controller no cables simples it's a no-brainer okay thank you for watching please subscribe if you like the video bye